This video is sponsored by PageProof. Hi, my name is David Blattner, and I'm the president of Creative Pro Network. And if you use InDesign, Photoshop, and Illustrator, this tip could blow your mind. I'm in InDesign right now, and you can see that I have some text and this graphic down here. And this is a Photoshop image, but what I'm about to show you works with Illustrator graphics too. I'm going to Option or Alt double click the graphic. And that shortcut is super helpful because it means edit original. That is, open the picture in its original app, in this case, Photoshop. But that Option or Alt double click trick is so helpful when you want to edit a Photoshop or Illustrator image that you've placed. Now, if you look over here in the Layers panel, you'll see that this image has several layers. And each one is similar, but a little bit different. And in fact, this is a layer group, so a bunch of layers inside of a folder or a group. And you can turn these on and off if you want. Then, I'll just save this with a Command S or Control S on Windows, close it, and return to InDesign. Now, I don't have to click Update or anything. InDesign automatically updates because it knew that I was off editing the image. But when you're on a deadline, you don't always want to jump back and forth between apps. So that's when you can head up to the Object menu and choose Object Layer Options. You can see that this dialog box lists out all the same layers we saw in Photoshop. And see this little eyeball icon to the left? That means you can hide and show the layers right here inside InDesign. I can see the change because the preview checkbox is turned on. So in this case, I'm going to leave the line art group turned on, but I'm going to come down here and turn off some of the individual layers inside that group. I do wish I could make this dialog box bigger, but you just have to scroll up and down. When you're happy with how it looks, click OK. Now this is great, but a lot of InDesign users don't realize that the program comes with some extra automation scripts you can use. And you can find them by going to the Window menu, coming down to Utilities, and then choosing Scripts. Inside the Scripts panel, open up Application, and then open up Samples, and then look inside the JavaScript folder. There's all kinds of good stuff in here. For example, I'm going to select MakeGrid.jsx. To run a script, all you need to do is double-click it. Then you can fill out these fields. For example, I'll make this 3x3 three three and no space in between each of the items in the grid. When you click OK, it doesn't look like much changed, but look what happened. Each of these is now a separate object. It broke that single frame into nine individual objects, each of them linked to the original file on disk. And each of them can act independently. For example, I can select this object, go back to Object Layer Options, and let's say I'll turn off those layers. That is incredible! Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel. And for thousands more how-to articles and tutorials, visit our website, creativepro.com, and become a member today. Thanks for learning with us.